What's up, everybody? Welcome to some Blue Red Kiki Jiki. Hope you're ready to get your combo on. Let's get the chat closed out. Get the graveyard squared up. Now, as far as our opening hand goes, yeah, this is not too bad. We got Kiki Jiki, Is It Charm, Nimble Obstructionist, and then four lands. Yeah, we're going to keep on this one. It's not a bad opening hand. Uh, maybe we can kind of catch our opponent uh, off a fetch lander with the Nimble. If not, we can kind of get a nice little, uh, nice little clock going. Um, let's go ahead and lead off with the. I guess we're going to lead off with the Misty. It doesn't really matter. Either way, we're going to search up a Steam Vents off that one. And then we're going to go ahead and pass the turn to our opponent. So, but yes, if you missed the deck tech, we were playing Blue-Bred Kiki Jiki. Uh, the deck revolves around getting down Kiki Jiki. It has an ability that says create a token that's a copy of target non-legendary creature you control. And then we're looking to get down either Pestamite or Deceiver Exarch. And both of those creatures have an Enter the Battlefield trigger that say um, untap or untap or untap target permanent. So, Get that on the battlefield, make a copy of it with Kiki Jiki, get the end of the battlefield trigger, then rinse and repeat, and make a bunch of nice little tokens for you. Okay, let's go ahead and get the Scalding Tarn down. We're actually online for Remand, so um, if we want to, we may end up going... For, we just see an island right now, so we may end up going for Is It Charm at the end of our opponent's turn. Uh, but if we can catch something off the uh, Remand, that would definitely be nice. But after that, we're also going to be online for Nimble for any sort of activation that we need to go for. Tapping out for two from our opponent, see what they've got going on. We could target for Reman. Let's see what it is. Once it gets down. So, oh, it looks like we're playing against Merfolk. Okay, get the Master of the Pearl Trident revealed on that. Let's go ahead and go for a Reman. I'm pretty... I think I feel good about that. Let's go and go Reman. Let's go and crack it. And then now that we know that they revealed the Master of the Pearl Trident, let's go ahead and we're going to go and hold on to Is It Charm. So let's go and grab an island off that. Let's go Reman. Got to go for a nice little tempo play. Send it back to the hand. And then draw into another Misty. Okay, and kick it over to our turn. So we do know that they have Master of the Pearl Trident in their hand. They also have the Silver Girl, uh, Sil excuse me, Silver Gill Adept was the one that they just tried to cast. So let's see what we draw into. Draw into Peak. Um, let's go and get the Misty. Actually, let's get down Steam Vents. Let's go and shock this one in. We're, we're okay with that. Uh, we need to shock it in just because we're going to be online for Nimble if we want to cycle it, or we can simply just flash it in and kind of go from there. But I think at this point, um, we're probably going to use... Um, is it charm for the two ability? And then if we can simply just find, um, well, if we're thinking about the clock, we're sitting at 16 right now. We could probably use is it charm just to kind of dig a little bit deeper to find one of our answers because we're looking at the land drop next turn. That'll be four. Uh, then we can flash it in the following turn and they'll be online for Kiki Jiki. So as far as any sort of removal, we're pretty much just looking out for, um, you know, we do have to watch out for spreading seas. Unfortunately, that is going to be on one of our red sources. At least we have another fetch land to kind of search up another red source. But uh, we do have to watch out for spreading seas and then also dismember. I cannot remember if Merfolk runs dismember in the main. So that'll be something we have to watch out for and when we go to games one or I mean, get games two or three. But at least at this point now, we um, we have a nice little option. We can dig it. We're looking to see two more cards with Is It Charm, and they can also get Pete going to kind of see what our opponent has uh, cooking in their kitchen as far as whatever their hand is. Silver Gill Adept. Okay, we're okay with that. Into the battlefield, they're going to draw a card. We could cycle on Nimble to kind of keep that card draw away, but uh, we're okay. We're going to let that uh, resolve. And then they have one, one island up right now. So we could see Curse Catcher coming down. Okay, no. I'm going to go and pass turn. Let's go ahead and go for the peak on our opponent's turn. On our opponent's hand, excuse me. And let's go ahead and grab the, uh, the snipping tool. There we go. Okay. Harbringer, Island Island, Master of the Pearl Trident, Master of Ways, and there. Let's go ahead and snip that out that way. For some reason, peak does not um, give you the actual card list that they have. So we're going to draw a card off that. Draw the Sulphur Falls. So they have Harbringer, Master of the Pearl Trident. They're going to get that down next turn, Master of Waves. Let's see if we can't close this out with a combo. Let's go and draw two cards and discard two cards. We do have six copies of uh, some sort of combo enabling in here. Three Pestermites and three to see. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. And let's go and discard the uh, Wandering. And then the Sulphur Fall is going to come into play untapped. We can go and get rid of the Misty. Okay, that'll be good. Anything else, and we should be online for Kiki Jiki the following turn. Um, let's go ahead and let's get down Sulphur Falls. Then anything else. Now we're going to go and pass the turn. So, next turn we have Steam Vents. We can shock that in. We saw what was in their hand, so there's not really much. We'd have to watch out for Harbringer of Tides, uh, but we're going to be able to kind of flash that in. They don't have Aether Vial up or anything like that, so we don't have to play around that. So, we should be able to flash in Deceiver at the end of this turn and then uh, get down Kiki Jiki the following turn. Not really worry about any sort of counter spell from our opponent. So that's what makes the deck fun. You know, there will be some times where you're going for more of a tempo, stevy, uh, tempo heavy style play where you're getting a bunch of snapcasters and bolts. But then at the same time, uh, you can simply just finally draw into one of your combo pieces and then flash that in and go for that. Okay, Silvergill Adept again. Master of the Pearl Trident. Let's <laughs> see if they're going to swing in for two. 
Let's, does Harbinger of Tides have... Uh, need to see if that... Uh, puts it down to 14. Can't remember if that one actually has um, flash or not. Okay, it's going to cost two more to flash that in, so we should be okay on this. Let's go ahead and flash into the Deceiver. Sorry, I had to look that up real quick. I did not want to um, kind of mess up something like that. Yeah, you can pay two more to cast it off the flash ability. So let's go and flash into Deceiver. And we'll just go and tap down one of the islands on this one. All right, and let's go and shock the Steam Vents in. And let's go and get down Kiki Jiki. There we go. Kiki Jiki's going to come down. We're going to make a copy of Deceiver XR. It's going to enter the battlefield and untap Kiki Jiki. And then just rinse and repeat from there. And we'll get ourselves a bunch of nice little hasty creatures. So, untap target permanent. We're going to untap Kiki Jiki. Now, what I'm probably going to do is if our opponent's going to make us go ahead and actually go through the motions of doing this combo, I'm just going to go ahead and pause the video or just kind of cut it out and edit it while doing up. Get to a lethal. Okay, so we made it up lethal tokens. Let's go ahead. Okay, opponent scoops it up. Find a... <laughs> I don't know why they made us uh, sit there and click and make all tokens, but we're about to go to the combat step. All right, what are we going to bring in? Let's go ahead and uh, let's bring in Anger of the Gods. That'll be a good option against some of those merfolk on the battlefield. Uh, I don't think we want Tarmogoyf on this one. Uh, just in case, you know, we're playing against Spreading Seas. If we do kind of search up our one red-green source off the stomping ground, they're going to be online for the Spreading Seas. And so then, um, anything else we're going to bring in? So we brought in the Anger of the Gods. We could bring in, is it Staticaster? That'd be a good way to kind of deal with some of the little creatures or two ones, but it may be a little too late to get that going. Anything else we want to cut? Let's go and back off on Jays. I think I like that. What's it at 60? Okay, let's go and ship this one over to game two. Okay, we are back to game two. Let's go and get the chat closed out. Yeah, I ended up making about 24 tokens, and then before we went to combat, my opponent scooped finally, so I don't know what that was about, but uh, sometimes if you're playing online, you, you do at least have to be aware of your clock. Uh, we are two minutes behind, but it's not the end of the world. Now, as far as opening hand goes, we just have Pestermite and eh, not a whole lot of action. Let's go and mulligan on this one. Not too wild about that opening hand. Yes, beautiful. I'll keep on this one. Anger of the Gods, Kiki Jiki. We have two combo pieces. All we need is a few more lands. We're online for Cryptic Command. A little far away from Cryptic Command, but we'll keep on... Serum video. Yeah, let's go put that on top. We get some nice little card draw, and then kind of kick it over our opponent. But yeah, playing against Murfolk. I always enjoy uh, playing against Murfolk. It's always uh, definitely a nice little interesting match. It's it seems like uh, I don't play a lot of Star City game tournaments, or at least a lot of modern tournaments or Grand Prix tournaments. But when I do, they come to the local town. I always play, and um, man, it's just kind of one of those. You always get paired against Murfolk, and it's always. The deck's always just better than you think it is, and you're just like, it's always like down that bubble round. You're like, all right, get paired against Merfolk, and the next thing you know, just, oh, all right, they got it. You got it. It's always a nasty little game. Let's see if our opponent's going to make the uh, turn one play. Okay, get the island down. Let's see if they're going to go for Aether Vile. Okay. So we do have Stevens in the hand, Anger of the Gods, any sort of action that they get out there. We do have to watch out for Curse Catcher coming off the Aether Vial. That'll be something if we're going to have to watch out for Anger of the Gods. Draw the Seer Visions. Let's go ahead and shock the Steam Vents in. Let's go for the Seer Visions. <sighs> About the only thing I know that, um... Ooh, draw another land. We have a Nimble and Remant. If we want to, we can leave Nimble on top. That'll be a good way for us to kind of counter an Aether Vile activation, but I don't know if that's going to be the best use of our mana for three. Um, let's go ahead and put Remand on the bottom and Nimble on the bottom. You know, at this point, we have three lands. We're online for Cryptic Command. Um, we have the combo in our hand with Pestermite and Kiki Jiki. So let's see if we just can't get to five lands and kind of combo off from there. Kind of stop the onslaught of Merfolk from swinging in. Get a charge counter on there. But if we wanted to, you know, if we had a little bit more action in the hand, we could have held on to the Nimble Obstructionist to go for a, you know, if they go to activate Aether Vial, we could have um, countered that uh, trigger ability by cycling the uh, Nimble Obstructionist. So I've been pretty, I've been happy with Nimble so far. It's definitely um, worth a look in, so, you know, any sort of modern deck that's running blue. Um, I'm ex actually excited to kind of build maybe a Soul Tide deck with it. Seems like a really nice little tempo play, or it really accompany uh, kind of Vendillion Click as a nice little, uh, you know, three three power flyer in the air. So I was pretty, I was really surprised when they saw that printed. Lord of the Atlantis is the reveal. So all right, we have ourselves a nice little clock. Draw into Peak. Do you want to shock that in? We shock in Peak. Um, I mean, not shock in Peak. Shock in the Steam Vents. We have nothing else for two. Let's just go and put the Steam Vents into play tapped. There's nothing else we can represent. If we're going to shock anything, it's going to be uh, shocking in Steam Vents on turn three to go for Anger of the Gods, kind of depending on what they deploy out. 
Um, we're at least going to be able to take care of the Lord of Atlantis because it's going to grant the bonus to the other creatures, not Lord. Now, if they get double Lords on the battlefield through an Aether Vial activation, that will kind of put us in a tough spot with Anger of the Gods, but we may end up going for it next turn. We still have Peak, though, so we can kind of take a little peek at their hand. <laughs> it feels funny saying that. We can take a little peek at their hand, see what they got going on. And uh, I don't know. I've, I've always loved this card. The card art's pretty cool looking on there. All right, Lord of Atlantis is coming down. Now, they do have an Aether Vial open for two, so let's go. we're still going to go ahead and go for Peak just to see that if our Anger of the Gods is still going to be good or not. Um, just simply getting rid of two creatures I, I think would be enough to go for the um, Anger of the God activation, shocking it in, and then going for that. Aether Vial. Okay, let's see what they got. Okay, we're still going to be in a good spot. Um, the uh, Anger of the Gods is going to take care of the Master of the Ways, Lord of Atlantis, and they'll still do cleanup duty on the Silver Gale Adept, and then also they won't be able to kind of flash anything in. If they do have the um, Devotion, okay, I'm just slipping my mind, but oh, Master of Waves. If they have Master of Waves, that'll be a really good way for us to kind of cut back on the um, Master of Waves stuff that they have. All right, Aether Vial, Lord of Atlantis, Master of the Pearl Trident, and Tide Binder Mage. Just go and do another snip of that. Okay. Draw cards. Who are we drawn to? Draw, ooh, drawn to Super Seeker Backup Anger of the Gods. I'll take that. Let's go and shock in, um, actually... We need to hold on to Scalding Tarn if we need another red source. Let's go and shock in Steam Vents. Let's go and go for Anger of the Gods. Uh, we're not having to play around Curse Catcher, so this works out perfectly. It's going to exile all of them. They're not going to go to the graveyard. Okay, anything else? No, we're going to go and pass the turn. So, we got very lucky, Drew, into our second copy of Anger of the Gods. And as far as the rest of their hand, they have Aether Vial. We're going to cross that Lord of the Atlantis off. So they have Aether Vial, Lord of Atlantis, uh, Master of the Pearl Trident, and Tidebinder Mage. Let me double check a Tidebinder real quick. I try to, um, you know, if we're playing the deck and our opponent's going to make us actually combo off, it's going to be a little hard for us to uh, try to make sure I'm aware of the clock. So when I do quick little stuff like that. Okay, they're going to pass it over. Get down that second Aether Vial. Draw into Seer Visions. Um, let's go ahead and get the Scalding Tarn down. We're online for Cryptic Command. Um, if we simply just go Serum Visions to make sure that we're going to set up the land drop for the turn, then we'll be able to go for Kiki Jiki the following turn. And we will be able to flip. Let's go ahead and crack the Scalding Tarn. Let's go ahead and grab our. Um, yeah, I kind of like going for this. They don't have much of a clock. Let's go and get the Steam Vents into play. That way, if they do draw into some sort of uh, Spreading Seas or something like that. Then actually, oh, we should have sequenced that different. I should have shocked that in. That would put us down to 9. Then would have left just enough for Pester Might. So they got down Aether Vial, Lord of Atlantis, Master of the Pearl Trident. Yeah, let's still, we'll still go ahead and go for Serum Visions. I, I kind of wanted to shock that in. That way we would have had enough mana to go for Pester Might. So it's kind of a little bit of a misplay on my part. I do apologize about that. Um, let's go and put the Misty on the bottom, and let's go ahead and put a Snapcaster on top. That'll be a good draw. We can flash back Anger, Anger of the Gods and kind of do a little bit of resetting from there. But yeah, I should have shocked that Steam Vent in to... Uh, have us online for Pestermite. That way, if we did set up a correct Serum Visions, we'd be online for Kiki Jiki this following turn. So, that is unfortunate. Um, I do kind of focus on my commentary sometimes. A little mistakes like that do happen. So, I'm going to cross off the Aether Vial. They still have um, Lord of Atlantis, Master in the Hand, and Tidebinder Mage. We need to check out what that Tidebinder does again. There we go. Okay. Tap and for two. Tidebinder Mage. Enter the battlefield. Tap target red or green creature that doesn't untap during its controller's next untap. Okay. That's going to come down. Gonna cross that off. And then if we want to go for Anger of the Gods, we can. They're gonna be able to swing in for two. Um, they can simply go. They'll have two Aether Vials ticked up. So we're looking at Lord of Atlantis and Master of the Pearl Dry Trident coming down, which will be two more little bonuses coming across. Um, let's see though. Let's go ahead and get the Scalding Tarn down. Let's see if we can't jam Pestermite. Um, if they want to put down those extra bonuses, we should be able to kind of outrace that and get down Kiki Jiki, and then be in a good spot to kind of combo off the following turn. Okay, see what they're going to go for. See if we need any last-minute activations before they kick it over. So even if they do go for Lord of Atlantis, that'll be another bonus. That'll be 3-3 body coming across. Master of the Pearl Trident will be a 4-4. Four, four. So we're really looking at about 8, which is going to put us down to 3. About the most damage that's going to get done. So see if they're putting in with the Aether Vial. All right. Master of the Pearl Trident. Let's go and cross that off. And that should leave, if I'm correct, that should leave uh, one more... Um, Lord of Atlantis in there. So that's going to come down. That's going to be a 4-4 four, four for the Tidebinder. That's going to be 3-3, three, three, so that's going to be 7. So we'll be right at 4, so we'll be in a good spot. If they just happen to draw into a few more Lords, then they'll definitely be online. 
as far as um, getting some extra chunk of damage in there. But that's going to put them at getting to like 12 total mana. Not 12 total mana, but like 11 total power. So that's going to be a lot of lords to cast out. Island Walk, okay. Draw a card. And they're still online for Aether Vile flashing in the uh, any sort of uh, little extra lord bonuses coming across. Curse Catcher, okay. So they're going to go and swing in. That's going to be five coming across. It's going to put us down to six. Um, we'll still go ahead and crack these Scalding Tarns. Well, actually, let's wait and see if they have any sort of... Um, we'll wait to our instep to see if they have Spreading Seas or something like that they're going to go for. Get down Lord of Atlantis. Okay, that's going to be seven. Put us down to four. And they have one card left in the hand. So let's go and crack the Scalding Tarn. Let's go and grab a mountain off that. Let's go and shock, I'm mean, not shock in, a flash in Pester Bite. And then we'll be online for Kiki Jiki the following turn. So hopefully, um, you know, they have one card in hand. We don't know what it is. We know Lord of Atlantis is out, so we can cross that off. That's everything left in the hand. So it's really going to put them on some sort of a counter magic or maybe some sort of a dismember than paying a bunch of life. But at least we're just going to go and force it. That's the fun thing about this uh, blue-red Kiki Jiki deck is that you put your opponent on some certain scenarios to where, hey, either you have it or you don't. So let's go and tap down the islands. Kind of reduce that. Let's see what they're tapping out for, too. Echoing Truth. Okay, got it. Are we still online for Cryptic Command? We can kind of bounce our creatures. If we draw into another land, not going to untap it, no. So they did have Echoing Truth on that. And Deceiver Exarch. Let's just go ahead and leave up um, Cryptic Command. If we draw into another um, island, uh, we'll be able to go for Snapcaster Cryptic. They do have Curse Catcher out there, but at least we'll be online to kind of tap their creatures down. Kind of stop the Onslaught from swinging in. And they are still going Hellbent now, basically, too. So get the uh, Aether Bow Triggers going. But it's going to be a little bit hard for us. We're a little bit bottlenecked on mana at this point right now. Okay, let's go and go Cryptic Command, counter, uh, tap all creatures, draw a card. So we're going to go for Cryptic Command, tap all the creatures, it's going to get them all tapped down, draw another card, Spire Bluff Canal, not exactly what we wanted. And because we're sitting at three and then all of them have Island Walks, so it's going to be, um, we still well, we still have Anger of the Gods, excuse me, we can go for that. And we'll be able to play around Curse Catcher too. We have enough for Curse Catcher. This is going to complete. Should at the end, once it's all done, it's going to get rid of all the Lord bonuses and get rid of the extra Tidebinder mages and different stuff like that. Let's go and pay for one. Okay, clears the board up. Let's get the Spire Bluff Canal down. We're also going to be online for um, going for a peek to kind of see what's going on in our opponent's hand, and then we can. Um, kind of draw an extra card, and then we can try and reset as far as going for Deceiver or Pestermite. You know, if they do get any sort of creatures out there, uh, with us having two of the uh, Pestermite and Deceiver Exarts, both of those in the hand, we get into spots where we can start tapping down some of their creatures and kind of preventing them from swinging in. It's going to go for a peek, that way we can see what they have in the hand exactly. And then if they do get an... Okay, two islands. Alright, we're good. Drawn to Electrolyze. Okay. Drawn to Kiki Jiki. So at this point right now, we have one, two, we have six total mana. Let's just go and pass the turn. Um, what we can do is we can go for double activations on Pestermite and Deceiver. Flash them in at the end of the turn. And that kind of puts them on, um, or at least flash one in and then just simply hard cast Kiki Jiki. But we do know two of the cards in the hand are uh, double islands off that. Okay, get one of the islands down. Let's go and flash in uh, Deceiver. Yeah, let's go ahead and get down to Seaver. Let's go and flash it in. Let's go and tap down the Aether Vial. And let's go and flash in Pestermite. Let's go and tap down the other Aether Vial. That way we're not uh, catch running into any sort of, um, you know, combat tricks with the Aether Vials. Yes, we're going to use that ability. Okay. Kick it over. Let's go ahead and get the Scalding Tarn down. Let's go for Kiki Jiki. And once again, if something does happen... Um, we still have two blockers out there, and we have a backup Kiki Jiki, so we should be good. Get Kiki Jiki down. See if this is good. 
Got her finger. Okay, Pona scoops it up. Aether Vial and Double Island. So, definitely kind of put in some nice work with Double Anger of the Gods right there, kind of cleaning up on the Merfolk out there. But, uh, but yeah, that's the fun part of the deck. You know, we got down to three, but the point is uh, we're running combo in here. So, once we get into spots where we can kind of finally deploy the combo, we'll have whatever creature we want to pick, either Deceiver or Pestermite, to kind of go for some nice little uh, combo action from there. All right, everybody, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.